The teleportation effect is actually pretty badass. That's cool, you like- Oh, it teleported me into the sun! Welcome back to the part two of our retro gaming special. I'm your host Gaming J, and we are playing our way through the Vectrex game library. If you haven't checked out part one of this video series yet, you may want to go back and do that. Today we're going to be playing through the second half of the Vectrex library. All right, this is a little gem called the Fortress of Narzod. And actually I have no idea what goes on in this game. Maybe I should take a second and look that up. Oh good, I tried to look it up, and there's there's nothing to look up. So, uh... <laughs> I mean, maybe there's something to look up. Oh god. Um, I guess these games aren't all that complicated. So I'm just gonna try and wing it. This, this looks like a course from MXC. Do you guys remember that show, MXC? Most Extreme Elimination Challenge. Where it was like a bunch of like Japanese contestants from the 80s that were all like dubbed over and they were like competing these ridiculous courses. This is what this course looks like. It's like a real jaggedy kind of like course, obstacle course with like things shooting at you and stuff. So what is the goal here, I wonder? Like, I, I don't think I can go, hold on. I don't think I can go all the way up to the top of the Fortress of Narzad. So what am I trying to achieve here? I guess just survive. Oh God. Okay, let, let's just see. I'm gonna try and kill all these things. Oh, freaking bouncing bullets. It's annoying that the bullets bounce and that you can die from your own bullet. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Decimate them. Whatever you are, whatever, whatever species you are, be prepared to die. It is the Gaming J way to kill that which we do not understand. Oh, what is this? Okay, so I guess it's just basically like Space Invaders, but with like an interesting little 3D twist. Damn it! I I'm dying more to my own bullets than I am to the enemy bullets. Ridiculous. Basically, you just want to, if you can shoot your bullets such that they don't fly back at you, you have, you're have you on your way to winning this game. Because the enemies, it's not like the enemies have really effective arsenals. I'm just going to stay right here. I'm fighting a bunch of McDonald's logos right now. This, this one is problematic. This one is at the, like the same level as me. Oh, damn it. You know what I was going to say is maybe I could ricochet a bullet back and kill him. But uh, what happened was... Um, that happened to me. Come on, come on, come on. How did he get through that? Yeah. To the next level. Now we're fighting wigs. Ah, yes. The Fortress of Nazad, protected by the ancient wigs of Zelnor. They're pretty awesome wigs if they can defend a fortress. But uh, I find I find their battle tactics leave a lot to be desired. They fight like a mop. You may pass. Oh, sweet. Oh, we made it into the fortress. Oh, interesting. Okay, now we're at like another level. Okay, this is cool. I could see this. You know, in an era when like Space Invaders was like a hot ticket item, I could totally see this like people People playing this, you got like interesting sort of bouncy bullet level mechanics that the terrain differs. I imagine there's only like four or five levels, but still, you mix up the terrain with the different enemies and stuff. Maybe give you some nice variety. Cool. There's different enemy types. Yeah, this is, I can see this. We're fighting birds now. Birds and McDonald's logos. Come here. Come here. I want to fight like all the McDonald's line characters, like Grimace and like Birdie and you know the the guy who stole everything. You, you know you got to be low in life when you're like stealing hamburgers. And not only that, you're not only stealing hamburgers, you've stolen so many that it's like that's how people know you. It's like yeah, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the guy, I'm the hamburger, I'm I'm the dude that's always stealing burgers. Uh, what can I say? I uh, I really love meat and also I'm poor. Very, very poor. Ugh. Get away from me, Wiggy. Oh, Wiggy. It wasn't even Wiggy who got me. It's literally myself. <laughs> this fortress is well defended because the people who come to attack it often end up, like, killing themselves. It's the equivalent of, like, you go to, like, you know, attack someone and you trip and fall and shoot yourself in the head with your own gun. That's, that's how the fortress of Narzad protects itself. It relies on the incompetence of its attackers. 
All right, now we're back to the first level, essentially. So there's probably not too many different levels to explore here, but still, the concept for this is pretty cool. I like, I dig it. I, I feel like this is a game that as a kid, I wouldn't mind trying out. So uh, yeah, Fortress of Narzad, really interesting game for the Vectrex. All right, Vectrex, what else you got? All right, this is Solar Quest. A lot of space games, but I mean, that was to be expected. The 80s and, you know, in the Atari and arcades was all space. Space this, space that, everything was space. So, uh, all right. Interesting use of color. Makes me feel like the sun is there. Oh, and, and do we have to get those things? Or we'll just let it burn into the sun? I don't know. Was that, was that good or bad? Good or bad? I'm killing, like... These are like the these are the guys from Asteroids. We're literally kill. We're not only we're not cloning Asteroids anymore. Now we're actually killing the guys from Asteroids. It'd be like if there was a game where you killed Pac-Man, <laughs> or like if there was a Mario game where you had to kill Sonic. That game should exist, by the way. Or vice versa, a Sonic game where you get to kill like fat little Italian plumbers. <laughs> Called uh, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it. Sonic's Vengeance. There you go. Sonic's Dark Day. Okay, so... I don't know if we're... I guess we're supposed to collect these things. Ah, damn it. I looked down to look at the controls. So, let's see. This one is Hyper. That... That... That sucked. Oh my god, Hyper's the worst! I imagine it teleports you somewhere randomly on the screen. The teleportation effect is actually pretty badass. That's cool, you like... Oh, it teleported me into the sun! Wait... What? What could this teleport if you have the option of literally dying? It's like you press this button to get away, or one in 20 times you just straight up die. What? What's terrible? Why didn't they program in you can't teleport into the sun? When you're setting your hyperspace coordinates, Han Solo here, make sure you do not aim for a sun or star. You will die. It is bad. Don't fly into it either. Uh, man, this ship is like really speedy. Look at this. We like zap around really easily. It's actually pretty fun just to fly around. Um, I'm always impressed when people can play these sort of asteroids games and they can be flying the whole time. Because like if you watch me play, I kind of like stay stationary and do this. And then I fly to like another area and I do it again. It's like I'm not doing like this. Like this, this is insane. If somebody could actually play this game this way, I mean like I'm just going to die any second now, I imagine. Or I'll do really well. I don't play this way. Oh, I flew I flew into the sun, so there you go. Alright, what's the nuke button do? Let's let's see. Kaboom! Oh, it's it's like a nuke <laughs> if oh interesting. I thought it would nuke the whole screen. So the nuke, you fire the nuke, it's like a bullet that travels forever until it hits something. Oh, or you can detonate it. Wait, can you? Hold on. Hold on, I think these things that we get out of these guys are nukes. Yes, yes? No, they're not. Okay, hold on. We gotta die here. For science, we need to be able to see this nuke in action. So you fire the nuke, and whenever you're ready, you hit the button and it detonates. Let's see if we can kill ourselves with the nuke. Oh, well, almost. Here we go. Oh, almost. Goodbye! Goodbye, cruel world! Boom! Oh, we're... Okay, we're immune to nukes, but not a sun. How does that make any sense? The teleportation uh, effect is pretty awesome, though. All right, so in this game, you you kill little asteroids, dudes, and uh, and shoot nukes. All right, Th wait, did that guy just fly into the sun? I think one of the guys just flew. Oh, that guy flew into the sun too. They're suicidal. All right, glad to know it's not just me. All right, well, that's, uh, that's Solar Quest. Um, what else you got, Vectrex? All right, this is a game called Web Wars. No, not the interwebs. The interwebs were... Actually, I guess they did exist in the 70s, but they were like a mili... It was like ARPANET or whatever. It was a military organization. I guess we are a bird flying through a spider web. Makes about as much sense as anything. And I don't know... Exit trophy room? Exit trophy room are two of the buttons. Okay, so we can shoot. What are we shooting? Dust clouds or stars or whatever? I don't know. There's actually an interesting, like, 3D uh, Space Invaders kind of game. Oh, I think a spider got us. Interesting. Well, you know, at least it's not a space-themed game. There's so many games that are space-themed. Oh, maybe... Are we a spider? 
No, we can't be. We're, we're totally a bird. If we're supposed to be a spider, they done messed up on the graphics. Shoot all these things. Oh, I want to capture... Ugh. Those are flies that are caught in the web. I totally want to capture one. Let's see what happens. Okay, here, here comes. Here comes. Oh! Ah, oh, we died. Speed 30, 50, 60, 70. Oh, we're going to top speed! We're... This bird is going 170 miles, 190, 220 miles an hour! Yeah! <laughs> That's how you play Web Wars, man. At top speed. I hope you get bonus points for playing it at such an intense speed. I want to, like, go so fast that I can, like, see sounds. Yes! Oh, man. Okay, hold on. We, we gotta try this one more time. And not be silly about it. I want to try and capture a fly here. One of the few Vectrex games doesn't have multiple game modes. I'm disappointed. I wanted a mode where they didn't draw me to the screen or my bullets went slower, faster, or whatever. Um, come on, man. Where are the flies at? Where are the flies at, yo? Where are the flies at? Oh, here's one. Boom. What? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Damn it. Oh, uh, why do I keep messing up the buttons on the Vectrex? Oh, that didn't do anything either. How, what What does capture do? What is even happening when I hit capture? Like, a line is, like, protruding out of his skull. That can't be good for him. Or his spine or something. I don't know. Oh, we died again. Okay, well, you know what? I am impressed by the 3D effects in this game. Let's go really, really fast one more time just for kicks. And we're gonna have... We're gonna leave capture on just in case we capture anything. Here we go, people! This is what you... Is this what you want? Is this what you want, Internet? Look at the glory of Web Warp! Ah! I died entertaining you guys. Are you happy now? All right, this one's called Space Wars, and I think it's literally just Space Wars. Um, we've seen this before. Um, yeah, this is... <laughs> oh, man, half my ship is gone. He took out half my ship. Oh, I'm just like a saucer section. Oh, and I won! <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. All right, yeah, this is just like the, the DOS version of Space Wars that I played way back when, after I played uh, Thrust. Man, he is playing for keeps. This, of course, is based off one of the first video games ever made, which was Space Wars. Oh, we decimated him. Man, I do... Th that's totally awesome how in this game, parts of your ship can get blown off. Look at that, that's so cool! I, it's realistic battle damage. That is impressive, guys. Um, hyperspace! Ho! Oh, get me the hell out of here! Hyperspace! Whoa, hyper, the hyperspace button doesn't work! It's a trick! Okay, so we have no hyperspace. Oh, he just flew into the sun and destroyed half of his ship. <laughs> he crippled himself. Oh, and he still got me. Oh, man, the battle damage thing is totally awesome, actually. I've never seen that in a game this old. Um, man! We're finding all these, like, little hidden, interesting little tidbits out about the Vectrax. Like, it did all this... Uh-oh, are we out of bullets? Are we out of bullets? Oh, I didn't know you only had so many bullets. What? Oh, no, we're done. We're done for. Oh, an asteroid took him out. Did I win? Ah, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. I guess we only have so much energy. Oh, did he die again? He crashed into me and died. Man, we're badass at this game. Let's see if this guy can... I'm not even going to move. See if he can, if he has it in him to take me out, or if he's just gonna kill himself. Nah, he did. All right, he's not totally incompetent. Four, four. All right, the, whoever wins the next match is the the guardian of the universe. It's gonna be me. Oh, he almost flew into the sun. Psych. Come on, come and get me, buddy. Oh, you. <laughs> all right, fine. He's guardian of the universe. Um, all right, let's let's keep this train going. All right, this one is called pole position. Now, did you guys... And, and, and by the way, it's the same pole position that uh, has been on the Atari and arcades and all sorts of other stuff. So it's it's pole position. Um, prepare to qualify. Three, two, one. We need like, key two up there, like doing the, the green, the red, uh, you know. And you always press go on the yellow or whatever. I don't know. I, I didn't really own Mario Kart as a kid, but like people would tell me the secrets. And here we are, pole position, man. Oh, wait, was that bad? Oh, that was another car. Okay, first gear. And then we got to get into second gear. Yeah, there we go. Now now we're cooking with gasoline. These are other cars. We're going to avoid them. All right, so this is basically like an early version of OutRun. 
It's got like pretty good graphics for the Vectrex. Another really, really well done game, I think. You know, like, again, like consider this for its time. Um, look, look at it. I mean, it's like Outrun before Outrun was Outrun. And it's all in like 3D, these like vector graphics. It's pretty cool. Um, again, you got the color thing going on, but whatever. The overlay here also makes a big difference. Like, you know, it, it doesn't look that much worse to me than some old DOS games that I used to play. In fact, I don't even—I wouldn't even say worse at all. It might look even better than some. Um, but did you guys have any complete collections of uh, games for any system? Like, speaking of, like, we're pretty much going. Oh, what? What the heck? The race just ended. It ended at mile 64 randomly. Okay. Um, let's try that one more time. But did you guys have any complete collections of video games? Because, like, we're going through, like, literally every Vectrex game that was officially released together, um, here. And that's pretty cool, actually. It's pretty interesting to be able to sit down and try a whole game library. Now, obviously, you know, it's not like the Super Nintendo that had, like, 900 or 700, however many games it had, uh, officially released. So it's a lot easier for us to do this in, like, an hour, an hour and a half or something, just try them all out. But... Even with the Vectrex only having like 30 games, I don't know of anyone who actually owned them all. Um, and I don't think I knew anyone, damn it, growing up, who had a full collection for any system, to be honest. Um, I don't, I was gonna say like the Virtual Boy is another system that only has like 30 games that exist for it, but I don't think I know anyone who even owned a Virtual Boy. So forget about a complete collection of the Virtual Boy. All right, we're doing pretty good here. Passing these other racers who clearly suck. Oh, whoa, we're going faster now. Oh, was I racing in first gear the whole time? Damn it! Ah, it's so hard to get around cars, actually, in this. Uh, okay. And where's our speed? So we are we going, like, 100 miles an hour now? Or is that in kilometers? Or, like... I mean, it's it's one or the other. We don't measure speed any other way. Okay, now it ended at 150. I, I don't... I, I don't pretend to understand... Maybe they're just, you know, maybe they're just watching me race. They're like, all right, you, you, you've had enough. You, no, no, the race is over for you, buddy. Get off. The, you're going to kill someone. Get off the track. Get off the track. Fine. Not only are we going to get off the track, we're going to go to a different game. You guys ever do that when, like, you play a game as a kid and you get mad at the game? And you, like, take it out of the cartridge all mad-like and you're like, I'm not going to play you again. It's like the game has feelings. Like, oh, no, Joey doesn't want to play me anymore. You're like, yeah, that's right, game. Say goodbye. And you never play it again. It's like you showed that game. You showed it good. Well, we're showing pole position. We're done with you. All right, here is Cosmic Chasm. Chasm? 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 However you want to say it. I th think it's Cosmic Chasm. I always want to say the cha. Cha. Cosmic Chasm. We're on mission number one. I presume we're going to be flying around in space. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Um, I accept whatever that was. Oh, whoa. This is crazy. Oh, look at this. Oh, man, this... Oh, cool. Oh, I'm excited for this. This is like Pixel Junk Shooter before Pixel Junk Shooter was a thing. Are we going to get to explore caves? I'm I'm so down for that. You guys have no idea. What is this thing that's growing in the middle here? Um, and then we want to drill. Drill and thrust. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, chief. Wait. Huh, okay. Shields... Interesting. Shooting all this stuff. We must be able to drill some of this stuff. Oh, that guy's like right in between my bullets. No! <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, we're shooting to the left and right of him. I have the aim of a stormtrooper. That'd be a welcome addition to the Empire's noble army. Be right up there with all those Jango Fett clones. What happened to all those clones after the Clone War? They just systematically put them all down or something? Alright, let's try and drill through this force field. This looks like a terrible idea. And it was. Okay, so where are we supposed to go here? I'm gonna take a wild guess and go this way. End. What? Hold on. Okay. So that that's that's clearly not what you're supposed to do. So cowardice is, is not accepted in the world of Cosmic Chasm. So I think we're starting in the middle, and we get to explore those other chasms. Those other cosmic... Oh, what What the hell? Oh, we're starting in a different one now. I will take it! I will take it. Okay, now what the hell do we do here? We could try turning our shields on. Ah, when you have the shields on, you can, like, bounce into those things. 
Okay, how about shields and no drill? Oh god. No! What do we do? What do we do? I got my drill going. Oh, this is gonna kill me, isn't it? Uh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me! Damn it! Okay, I have to know what we drill in this game. Okay, from what I read, we were kind of on the right track. We have to destroy these force fields either by shooting them or drilling them. It's kind of unclear. I think in the original game, you shot them away, but I think in the Vectrex version, we have to drill. So, yeah. So that's not gonna do anything. All right, turning our drill on and our shields. Oh God, drill. Oh, we got it, we got it, go! All right, oh look, we're moving on the map. Look on the far right side. Oh, we moved to a different room, okay, cool. So, you know what, can I go back though? Because I feel like this room is not where I actually wanna be. All right, we're gonna go over here and drill, yes! Oh, we're doing it, oh, we're going to, look, we're going! We're going, okay. So now we wanna keep going to the right, I think. We, we, I, I feel like we, this is a game. Oh my God, this, this game is awesome. You get to explore different rooms and like plan your way through like a big maze. Okay, here we go. Yes! Take your time, guys, take your, oh, I should have gone up. That would have saved me a whole room. Oh, they're getting faster though. These things might be the end of me. They might start to come so fast that I can't do anything about it. Okay, up here. Oh, and drill, 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 yes. Okay, up we go. We're getting there, so then we wanna go down to the left. Oh, no, no! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, we got this, we got this. Man, your dot is like so hard to see on that like overhead map. If you didn't know what to look for. Ah, oh, damn it. I need, I, I should turn shields on. No, we gotta, we gotta do this. We gotta do this. No! <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna make it, am I? Okay, hold on. What are these things anyway? They're like little UFOs that are just like pissed that I'm like in their house. Yes, get out of here. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, drill, 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 yes. Okay, there we go. So we got one, two, three, four. In theory, only four more levels and we'll have this. No, stay away from me. <laughs> Damn it, you can't outrun them either. That is tough. Okay. Shoot, 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 no! Oh! <sighs> Son of a bee. Okay, we gotta try this one one more time. I, I really dig that we get to explore different rooms and stuff. Okay, once once more into the breach of cosmic chasm, what mysteries await? What treasures do you think we'll find here? I think some kind of reactor core that we have to destroy, or I'm, I'm throwing it out there, a princess. Reactor core or princess? Where the F are we? Oh, we're in the bot. Okay, so we want to go left. Left is where we want to go first. Took me a while to find this on the map there. It's really, if you can't even see it in the video, don't worry. It's like, it's hard to see in real life. No, oh God. I was gonna die already. That would not be acceptable. All right, drill is ready. The one thing that's hard about this game is you can't drill and move forward at the same time. And I'm pretty sure if you walk into the uh, force fields, you'll die. So it's actually like pretty tricky. There we go. And shoot, I wasn't paying attention. Oh God, I wasn't paying attention. Shoot. I'm gonna take a stab and go left and up. Drill, drill. There we go. Yes, okay, then we wanna go up and up and to the right. Yes. No, 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 oh God. Oh God, they're, they're so tiny. They're hard to hit. I appreciate that they let you shoot two bullets at a time, but like it's, when the enemies can like fit between your bullets, that is tricky. And then up and to the right and then up, and then we got it. At least I think we do. I just assume the circular room is where we're supposed to go. No, 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 damn it. Oh, come on. Come on, we got this. We got this. We trained for this in in chasm drilling in chasm drilling school. We trained for this. Oh, don't go down like this, Jay. Don't go down. Find find the courage within to do it. The courage. The courage. Yes. All right. We found the courage on this level, guys. Let's just pray we can find it on the next. Initiating force field drill. You think it's funny? You think the drill was for drilling? Um, like walls and stuff, not for drilling a force field. 
Okay, here we go. No! Damn it! No, no, no. Come on, come on. We got half a few marks to lives. Uh, we have like two lives left. Okay, we got that. Oh man, this one this one enemy ship is going to be the enemy. Oh, we got him. Oh, guys, did we do it? If we pass the Vectrex game, like, that's my whole day. Like, I've, I've achieved everything I wanted to today. Hands down. Oh, there's a bunch of them! Ah, I was not prepared for that. Of course I should have been, though. Oh, shoot. Okay, come on. Come on, you... No, no! Oh, do we have an extra life? One more? One more? One more? No! We died. Oh, well, we got to see the, the control room. I imagine once you blow it up, you just go back to, like, another mission. Cool, though. Cosmic Chasm. Cosmic Chasm. I, I think that's a really cool, a very neat idea for a game. Um, very simple, obviously, because it had to be, but um, pretty, pretty cool idea there. Much more to it than, like, a normal one-screen game. Because you get to explore a whole cavernous system. I think that's, that's pretty cool, guys. All right, this is Berserk. We're gonna go freaking berserk on this one. I think this one is a clone of like Robotron or something. Yeah, it's like a 3D. Oh, look at this. Look at these graphics. Huh. That's actually pretty cool. This is kind of like a, like an early version of like Doom or something. Oh, smiley face is coming to kill us. No, smiley face. No, smiley face. No, get, get away from us. Get away from us. Do, do we just get killed by happiness? Happiness itself. Oh, bullet. What are we killing anyway? It's like little R2-D2s with legs. Little sentient trash. The trash cans have become sentient. Oh, I walked into a wall. Who electrified the walls? Damn it. Huh. Interesting little game here. It's kind of like Smash TV almost. Oh! <laughs> I love how the enemies can kill each other in Vectrex games, it seems. There's no such thing as friendly fire. Imagine that was like the case in Mario, like the Hammer Brothers showed up and they're like, Alright Mario, let's go. And they both start throwing hammers and they kill each other instantly. <laughs> Be pretty hilarious, actually. Oh, that enemy walked into the wall and died. My God, the AI is terrible in this. Oh, what? The level scroll Zelda style. That's totally awesome. Oh man, now I just want to explore. Oh, I guess we saved the best for last in terms of Vectrex games here. Hey, oh, fire back! Nobody follows me but me. Interesting. We can outrun happiness, guys. Just like in real life. If you believe in yourself and you run fast enough, you can outrun all of your problems, including happiness. What a crutch happiness is. Ugh. I hate it. Joy. Pleasure. These are the things that I hate. I'm like the modern Scrooge. Believe it, man. There's no joy in what I do or how I live. I love how the enemies are just dying randomly. You know, great kill bots he designed here, Dr. Happiness or whatever. They're literally, your your henchmen are killing themselves. Oh man, I got a bonus for that. That last guy literally walked into a wall like cried himself. The game's like, oh bonus, you're doing good. I'm like, yeah, I like to give the enemies a chance to kill themselves before I walk onto the next screen. I'm that good of a player. Here we go. <laughs> Killed himself, let's make this guy kill himself too. Sucker! All right, buddy, you want a piece of me? Uh oh, happiness. No, I refuse to be happy. Oh, I got killed. Berserk. Got you, humanoid. Hey, I'm a human. I'm not just a humanoid. I'm a human, man. I'm not like a generic alien or something like that. So, by the way, I just looked it up. You know what the happy face is called? Evil Otto. He is a character... Auto, O T T O. He's an evil character who's here to like kill you. And they decided, they thought, you know what? What's the pure embodiment of evil incarnate? They're like, hey, how about a happy face? It was between that and like uh, a dog with a wagging tail and like a baby that was eating ice cream. Those were the three options they had. And they thought, well, the dog and the baby would be hard to animate. So let's just go, let's go with like, and plus they're a little ambiguous. We want unequivocal evil. evil. So we're gonna go with the happy face. We don't want anyone asking any questions. So yeah, uh, evil auto. So I guess in this game, you're a dude who's lost in a maze. You get a laser gun, you gotta kill some stuff. And uh, you know, you'll kill anyone. It's kind of like the top down version of Zybots. There's some robots. Human hate robot, human kill robot, human angry, yar, and that's basically your your backstory there. Um, and yeah, so okay, so this has been Berserk. 
Um, I think we're round. I think there's only a couple of Vectrex games left, guys. Let's round this puppy out and see what the last few are like. Hey, oh! This is Blitz. It is a football game. I can tell from the uh, from the overlay. So strong left field goal, power middle punt, spread pass or kick, strong right snap. I don't understand any of that. Oh man. All right, this is like shirts and skins, only it's squares and X's. Am I control? I'm controlling this X here. Okay, I've got it. I've got the ball. I've got the ball, coach. Yarg! Running around. Oh man. No, 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 no. What the hell? Why were they going so much faster than me? Okay, now an arrow rotates. Gotcha. And uh, now we have uh, what do they call it? A kickoff or something. Sure. Do it. Okay. Initiate. Oh, God. No, don't throw the... What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I just threw the ball at the coach. Not a good idea. Oh, no. Now they have the ball. This is bad. Okay. Can we get it from them? What? No! I know what that is. A, a goal. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, in case, you know what, if you guys have never watched my channel before, I'm not really a sports guy. This, this is a foreign concept to me. I mean, I've watched, I'm not an idiot. I've watched squares and circles, you know, play a game before, but I, I have not played a game as a square or circle, uh, very much. So, um, blitz, um, is there much more to say or see here? Maybe let's try one more kickoff, see if we can figure this puppy out. I like that look of that. Let's do it. hey -oh! <laughs> Incomplete! Yeah, no kidding. Oh, we get one more shot at it? We don't just lose instantly? I'm pretty sure my guys are throwing the game. I'm pretty sure the last time they just legit threw the ball. Offside, of course! Oh, okay, forget it. All right. Well, you've seen Blitz. You know what? Imagine this, but somebody was good at it. That's what the Vectrex version of Blitz is. All right, we saved another sports game for the end here. This is Heads Up. This is a soccer game. I think soccer should be a little easier. There's only two buttons, Defense Shot and Offense Pass. Um, whoa, that's actually pretty sophisticated vector graphics for the players. That's impressive. All right, let's do this. Let's get it on. Um, all right. And defense or shoot. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I, I, I have a chance here. Hey, oh, ah. I thought I might actually. Oh, wait, which I, I can't even tell what side I am. Wait, where's where are my guys? Oh, here I am. You dick. You dick. Yeah, Dick! Come here! Oh, I got the ball! <laughs> Alright. I, I don't even know. I, I want to pass, but I can't even tell. I think that's one of my guys. Yeah, there it is. My guys glow a little brighter than the than the enemies. Hey oo! Hey oo! Here we go. Alright, we're getting we're getting through. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Boom! No, oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Yeah, oh, we got the ball. We got the ball. Ah! Oh, we got a goal! Goal! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I could see this being... This is sort of like the Blades of Steel of its day. Especially if you could play this two players. I could see this being fairly fun. You know, like, I think the reason that sports games appear on every system is that they're a little timeless. Like, they're simple... They haven't changed in many, many years. I like how the guys get tiny as you go far back into the field. That's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, they haven't. They're they're simple, but they're they're fun. So yeah, I could totally see this. All right, defense or shoot. Ah, he got it. Anyway, um, all right. Well, this is heads up. Cool little soccer game here. What else you got, Vectrex? I know you got at least one more game in you. Come on, show me something glorious. After I steal this ball. No, get back here. Get back here. Oh, yeah, we got the ball! Okay. <laughs> ah, leave me alone! Man, my guy runs so slow. Look at him. It's hilarious. All right, what, what other Vectrex games we got in here? 
All right, this is Scramble. Not to be confused with Scrabble. This one has bombs, lasers, and bombs and lasers. So actually, you could probably confuse it with Scrabble. Very similar. Oh, this is cool. Bomb, 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 bomb. Yeah, it's like no, I'm dropping number ones on them. That's what the bombs look like. Better than number twos, am I right? Alright, so it's basically a game where you go around bombing stuff because I have not needed to shoot my laser. Alright, I guess... Oops. I was gonna say, maybe I could let those ships take off and then shoot my laser at them. Okay, so you could do that if you wanted. Alright, so I'm just gonna spam the bomb and shoot buttons because I don't think there's ammo in this game. And scramble. So I guess we're like a fighter pilot who's gone behind enemy lines and we're shooting enemy planes as they go to scramble into the air. Which is a noble endeavor, killing the enemy like the dogs they are in uh, in their cockpits as they cannot defend themselves. So I guess that's the opposite of noble, but hey, who am I to judge? Interesting. Really, I, I mean, impressive like use of terrain and stuff. If this was a little more complicated, it could be like a Nintendo game, you know? Or, I mean, the graphics? I was gonna say, it could be an Atari game, but I feel like it's even slightly better than Atari. And I mean, Atari Atari was like a good system for its time, but it also had things like the sprites would flicker and stuff. This doesn't have any flickering sprites. It has a lot of stuff on the screen, comparatively, you know? Like, there's a lot of, like, active things, so. Yeah, I don't know, the Vectrex, like, holds up fairly well in terms of, like, what it was meant to be. I like how we're like flying around this cave too. We found like the enemy, the enemy ammo cave or whatever. Oh, now they're throwing rocks at us or something. They're so mad at us. I hope there's a boss fight. Oh, and I have fuel. Oh, interesting. There's a fuel level down there. You see that? Oh, pfft. I've never been in a rock storm this bad. Too many rocks. I'm gonna try and bomb the fuel tank. Oh, damn it. Okay, we got one more life. Let's make it count, guys. When you get to your last life in a video game, that's when, like, you play for real. Like, you, you stop lounging in, like, your sofa, and you, like, sit forward on the edge. You lean forward. You, like, tighten your grip on the controller. You're like, now we're playing for keeps, bitch. This is it. You think you could kill me? Not on the first level. Not on my own system. On my own game. And, like, here I'm pressing the buttons harder. You're playing for real, man. Your palms are all sweaty, but you're not going to give up. That's the worst when you got sweaty palms playing video games. Oh, what is this? I'm totally running out of fuel, I think. Oh, no, actually, I'm doing pretty good on fuel. And I just got more. So we are we are set. We're good to go. Interesting. So is it just, it's just a lot of this, then, I guess, eh? There's no boss or anything. Oh, my hands are getting tight. You need a turbo controller for this. There weren't turbo controllers for the Vectrex, were there? I'm pretty sure there were not. <laughs> it did have, actually, um, it had a light pen peripheral, and it had, oh yeah, okay, the Vectrex, very limited system, only had a handful of games, as we've seen here today, uh, and we're not fully done, there's still a couple more to check out, but it did have a couple peripherals, it had a light pen, there's a couple light pen games, and it had a 3D ha headset goggle set, which is crazy, like, how could a system this simple have 3D, you know? Um, but if you look it up, it's this weird thing. It's like a goggle set that would stay on your eyes, and it had like a CD... Oh, God, how are we supposed to do that? Now it's getting hard. It had like a CD in it that had a transparent sort of uh, overlay, just like, uh, just like we've been seeing in these video games here. And... <clears throat> oh, God. I just had to think about that one for a second. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, why is this so brutal? Wow. That game got hard, man. I, I know how to do it, though. You gotta go forward, and then when you're going down or up, you, like, go back at the same time to give yourself more time to go up and down there. Um, okay, interesting. Um, let's see. Uh, I think there's only, like, maybe two games left. Let's check them out. This one is Starhawk. Literally only one button. Fire and the, the directions make you go in all the wh every which way. So, oh wow, talk about your 3D games. Interesting, Starhawk. This is this looks like X-Wing versus TIE Fighter or something. Like, I feel like I'm flying over a trance in the Death Star. But anyway, the 3D, speaking of 3D, the 3D headset for the Vectrex had like this 
overlay CD that you would put into it, and it would spin around, it would rotate around. It's really hard to describe. You can find videos on YouTube of showing people using it, but it's like this goggle set that had a spinning CD in your face that was semi-transparent, and you would look at the Vectrex screen, it would like cycle colors as you played, and it would give the illusion of 3D. So um, there you go, 3D before the Oculus Rift. Yes, it existed all the way back in good old 1983. So, um, yeah. You can could, you could play this free game in 3D if you want. Actually, you couldn't play this game. There are only certain games that are made in 3D for it. Maybe one day we'll do a 3D play, playthrough of Vectrex. End! All right, that was Starhawk. I don't know what the hell just happened, but uh, let's, check out, let's see what else we got, Vectrex. This is Star Castle. We have Thrust and Fire. Once again, a space game. Shooting at stuff. Oh, this is ah, that's cool. Huh, interesting. Oh, get out, get out of here. Oh, what an interesting. Oh, I like that. That that's kind of a cool twist on things. So obviously, oh, we're like we we gotta like get in there, but the uh, the enemy does not want us to get in. That's cool. That's super satisfying to destroy the little. Uh, oh God, and his, and his shield regenerated. Ah, oh, damn it. I think there were certain like l sides of the shield that had um, bullets attached. Yeah, see, he's attaching bullets to some of those shields, so you don't want to destroy all the shields. Oh, and you can shoot them too, huh? That's cool. I don't know if I'll be able to actually get in and kill the enemy, but uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, staying back here is like a good strategy. Uh, until it isn't. Yeah, this I think this game would take a lot more practice than I than I want to devote to it. But I, that's a very cool concept. Star Castle, huh? What a neat idea! I, I'm sure you can get in there and kill the enemy. It's just hard when those things are chasing you. Interesting. Ah! Come on, come on! Oh, and you can like bounce off of it. it doesn't kill you. Most video games, as soon as you like touch a wall, you die. Well, this one you can like straight up bounce off of them. Boink! Oh, look! We, we, we made a hole, and we could actually get to him. Ah, oh, but he killed us. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a neat game. Of course, we have the infamous test cartridge, which uh, doesn't, do, doesn't seem to do anything. Test revision number four. Oh, thank God, because revisions one through three were awful. God awful. Adjust DAC offset. Don't mind if I do. Obviously, this is not a game, but it was just—it was included with the emulator, so I thought, "What the hell? Let's try it." Okay, we got two games that don't really emulate all that well. This one's called Pitcher's Duel, and I think it's a baseball game. I mean, it seems to be, unless this is some kind of like, uh, you know, spreadsheet maker. Um, oh wow, wow! Look at those. It's the wind-up. Look at those vector graphics. Oh, did I do anything there? I don't even know. The game seems to be playing itself. Huh. Okay. So now this guy. Now what do we do? Do I do do I do something? Oh, I, I think I can control kind of where the ball goes. Kind of. Oh, I was throwing it for him. I was trying to... Uh, the coach is like, walk this SOB. I'm like, yes, sir. I'm like going for an injury. Oh, he, he tried to hit it right in my face. Can I, I can't even move the guys. Interesting. So I guess in this game, you just control the pitchers. Um, okay, so very, very cool vector baseball game. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm in control or I'm just watching, but, uh, oh, the mark of any true game when you can't fully tell if you're actually in control of what's happening. I, like, I'm not pressing any buttons. The game's just going. So, uh, yeah, the mark of any, any good game. Now we have Spinball here, which is the Vectrex's take on Pinball. So left flipper, right flipper, shoot. Gotcha. Pause. Cool, there's a pause button. Um, there we go. Shoot. Shoot. Shoot! Boom! All right, we're, we're in. We're finally in. You have to... They didn't tell you, but you have to hold back on the uh, directional pad to get it to, like, wind up there. Um, yeah, you can tell the emulation is a little off because the ball is kind of bouncing through walls at times. But uh, that's okay. We're just checking her out. We just want to get a feel for what this game would have been like if it had uh, worked correctly. Um, 
And it would have been pinball. So hey, you could even get pinball. You know, I would have said the Vectrex is missing something if they did not have a pinball game. You know, I said before the pinball is not really my kind of game. Like I'm just I never really got into pinball. But I I do think it is like you can't make a game system and not have pinball. Pinball should be on like every game. Um, and it's kind of broken, so we're not really going to spend too much time here. But I do like shooting it. That's always a fun part of pinball. Hey, oh, and it does look quite good. So if it worked correctly, if you had this on a real Vectrex, this could be quite fun. Or if they fix it on the emulator. Who knows? They might do that at some point. But, uh, yeah. Pinball! All right, we only have one game left, guys. What game could it be? If you've been paying attention, you already know. dun da 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 Mindstorm 2! It's Mindstorm. We're back at Mindstorm. It's the Mindstorm version that you would get sent if you wrote in to uh, Milton Bradley and said, hey, by the way, the game crashes on level 13. And they were like, oh, here, take take the renowned sequel, Mind, F Mindstorm 2. It's pretty much identical. Literally identical to the first game. We just put a 2 in front of it. I don't know why they didn't just call it Mindstorm Revised or something, or just Mindstorm. Like, here's a fixed copy of the game. Why was it called Mindstorm 2? I don't entirely know, but it is literally the same game. As I said way back, if you actually could get your hands on a copy of this game, it is, well, it is very rare, and collectors go nuts over this, because you had to write in, you could not buy this. Mindstorm, the first one came built in on the Vectrex. It was Mindstorm 2 that you would only get sent if you got to level 13 and you experienced the game-breaking bug. So, um, yeah, we're on level 2. I have no illusions that we're going to make it to level 13. I mean, given how, how well I've been doing at all these games, I think level 2 is about the peak of my ability. So, um, yeah, so this has been... Uh, this has been the Vectrex. Oh yeah, I'm dead already. This has been the Vectrex. What do you guys think of the Vectre Vectrex? Um, I have had a lot of fun. As I said, checking this system out again, the way we way I did in this video here, like going just game after game after game, sometimes only spending like, you know, 30 seconds with the game. It really did remind me of like when I was a kid, of like sitting down in front of my dad's Atari 2600, you know, flipping game after game after game in there and just checking it out and, and just sort of having fun with it. Um, it's, it's definitely like a fun way to explore a system. Now, you can only do it with systems that only have a couple of games. I mean, I guess you could get a list of like the best Atari or the best NES games. You could spend an afternoon kind of doing this. Um, it is fun just sort of sifting rapidly through a whole bunch of games, um, exploring them, checking them out. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of, um, exploration of the Vectrex, and, uh, hopefully you guys saw a game or two that kind of looked interesting to you. Again, if you're interested, the Vectrex is free, it's in the public domain. You can go and get a copy of the emulator, comes with every game that you saw here, you can go ahead and check them out and play them to your heart's content. There's also a huge homebrew community for the Vectrex, probably because the system is in the public domain. And so there's actually more homebrew games than legit games, I believe. I mean, there's tons of other games that came with the emulator that are homebrew that I didn't even load because I was trying to stick to the official ones. Um, but maybe someday I'll check that out just for funsies, um, especially if people enjoyed this video. So guys, until next time, I hope you have had fun with me here today on this Saturday afternoon, and I hope you will tune back in next week to see whatever game I happen to be playing. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've not done so uh, already, and don't also forget to like the video and share it with all your friends, families, co-workers, and enemies. Because even enemies, guys, guys, we should try and make peace with our enemies. I think that's, that's what we should really be trying to do in this world. If Mindstorm has taught me nothing else, it's that the the perpetual war must end somewhere. Or we'll forever, forever be cleaning up each other's minds. And that's no way to live. No way to live, guys. Oh, look, I'm, I'm covered under the icon. Oh, I didn't even notice that. You can, like, hide under the Mindstorm icon down there. Huh, interesting. Um, anyway, guys, until next time, take care of yourselves. And peace. Yeah! That sucked.